Hi guys, today I'm here with Baby and Puffy, and we are going to show you how to make squash for your parrots. I've picked out a number of our favorite squash that we love to eat in the bird room. We're going to start out with a spaghetti squash. So, spaghetti squash is probably one of the easiest squash to prepare for your parrots. And the way I do it is I will wash it first, poke holes in it, wrap a wet paper towel around it, place it in the microwave for four minutes, and then flip it to the other side, and then another four minutes. You want the squash to feel squishy, kind of soft. When it's soft, you will know it's ready for your birds to eat. If not, place it in the microwave for another few minutes. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. And it looks just like spaghetti. So it is absolutely fabulous by itself or you can mix a little bit of coconut oil and just a little bit remember coconut oil is fattening so a little bit goes a long ways and maybe two little pea size would be enough for this squash and you also want to make sure that squash is cool before you feed it to your parrots. You can also sprinkle a little Ceylon cinnamon, which is the purest and the most safest of all cinnamons. And I'll put the description below where you can purchase Ceylon cinnamon, or you can also sprinkle a little curry, or you can also add veggies. The opportunities are endless when it comes to spaghetti squash. Right guys? Is it good? <laughs> yes, I love it. going to show you how to bake pumpkin squash for your parrots. You will need to set your oven for 375. Make sure that your parrots are not in the kitchen. Self-cleaning ovens and many kitchen appliances are toxic for your parrots. They release toxic fumes into the air and I will have a description below of what is not safe for your parrots in the kitchen. So now you are going to need a pumpkin and you're going to cut it open, scoop all the innards out, but save them because your parrots love to eat them raw, they love to eat them cooked, parrots love pumpkin innards. Place it, coated with coconut oil, into the oven, onto a glass pan and you want to cover it, that way it doesn't dry. And what I did was I placed it like this and I just kind of left the top part out on the glass pan, covered it, and that's how I baked it for about 40 minutes. So you're going to want to check it between 30 and 40. Poke it with the fork. See if it's kind of soft. You don't want it too soft. And once it is, it gives just a little bit, that is when you want to stuff your pumpkin with your stuffing. Put the top back on, cover it with the foil, put it back in the oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes. Your pumpkin will feel soft when it's finished and it is going to look and smell amazing. Next, we are going to add quinoa. Now this is cooked quinoa and so we're gonna add a little bit of quinoa. And baby, as usual, he's always in the middle of things. There we go. And then we're gonna add some oats. I'm using gluten-free oats. I love to use, I'm gonna turn you this way, boo-boo, so everybody can see. I love using gluten-free oats, so we're adding that. I'm going to add a little bit of dried cranberries. Now, I prefer fresh, but they didn't have fresh at the supermarket, so I'm going to do a little bit of dried cranberries. You don't need too many, just a little bit. And then we're also going to do sliced almonds. Oh, sliced almonds taste so good. Now, remember, almonds are fattening, so you don't want to go too crazy with the almonds. You just want to give them just enough for crunch and taste. Then we're going to add a little bit of yellow squash. Oh, that's gonna be good. And then apples. Apples always smell so good baking in the oven. So we're adding apples and then unsweetened organic coconut. So here we go. And they're flakes. And I'll have the ingredients below so you'll be able to see everything. And then once again, Ceylon cinnamon. Now that's going to smell amazing in the oven. And he keeps moving to center stage, doesn't he? Okay, so now we're gonna mix it. Hey guys, it's time to mix. Do you wanna help mix? No? Okay, so we're gonna mix it around. 
and so it's going to be dry. So you're going to want to add a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. So we're going to add just a little bit, just like that. What is he eating? He's loading up on the almonds because he never gets an opportunity to eat this many almonds. And that's why he keeps moving to the center. I'm going to put the almonds over here. There we go. Okay. So now we're mixing it. It's going to be amazing. So now that your stuffing is ready to go, you can stuff your pumpkin. Now, for some reason, when I pulled the pumpkin out, these guys kind of freaked out because I sprinkled Ceylon cinnamon once I stuffed it. I also sprinkled a little bit more and I rubbed it around the pumpkin and I placed it on top. It looks, it looks gorgeous, but here we go. Let's see what they do. Are you guys going to get scared? Huh? Let's see. to prepare your acorn squash for the oven. So it's pretty much going to be exactly the same, just like the pumpkin. You are going to want to cut it open and then you're gonna scoop out the innards, save the innards because your birds can have them raw or cooked. Now we are going to prepare the stuffing. Now this acorn squash stuffing is going to be more vegetables and grains. The pumpkin was fruits and grains. So we are going to start out with quinoa and this is cooked about a cup. And so we're placing it in. What's going on, Puff Puff? Do you want to help me? You want to go down? Oh, we're stuck in my hair. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. So we're going to add some yellow squash, finely chopped. And then we're going to add broccoli finely chopped and I'm only adding the little flower parts of the broccoli because that's what the birds love. And then we're going to add bell peppers. Now I'm using red and orange bell peppers. It's loaded with vitamin C and it also adds color to the stuffing and birds love color. Now we are going to add seeds. I'm adding chia and flax seeds. So add the seeds of your choice. And so I'm just sprinkling just a little bit in here because just like almonds, seeds are very, very fattening and you just want to give your birds a little crunch. And then gluten-free oats. And these oats are raw. There we go. Woo! So we're going to mix it around just a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. What do you think, guys? There we go. Just a little bit. If you want to drink it. Ooh, oh, is that good? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to mix. There we go. And it looks amazing. If you found this video fun and educational, please like and subscribe to our channel, Parrot Playhouse. And thank you for watching. Thank you.